Good evening, everyone. Wow, we, it's so great to see so many faces from our community. We were hoping for this kind of a turnout, and I don't know that we expected it, or speaking for myself, rather. Um, so this is such a beautiful and wonderful surprise to see everybody here this evening. Um, I wanna go ahead and start by, nope, there, is that better? It's very close to my face. All right, so I want to go ahead and thank everybody, of course, for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, we are grateful. And, and speaking from, I think, as a community member and as someone who cares deeply about, about Taos and our community and the directions in which we are headed and the agency and power that we have in order to make meaningful and intentional change um, of our community and for our community and by our community, um, I'm grateful to have any and all participation um, I want to go ahead and acknowledge um, some key community members who are here. Um, if we can get our town council members to stand and just wave to, to, your, to your folks. There we go. And our um, county commissioners as well. I know that I saw Commissioner Hill earlier. There you are. Um, I also want to just give a big shout out to the, t the town of Taos, um, who is funding this project, which is a regional initiative, and also to their staff who helped to set up this room and have been an incredible help um, with this coming to life logistically and also, I think, in, in just caring and giving, giving that energy forth as well. Um, I want also want to thank the county for donating the Agriculture Center. We're so grateful to be here in this space and to utilize this space. Um, who else do we have? Um, we also have a lot of distinguished community members in here. You know who you are, um, who are behind the scenes working tirelessly to also help support this initiative and make it come to life. So thank you too. Um, and of course our elders and our community at large, we are definitely stronger as a whole. And this is very reflective of the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. So thank you all for your participation and your engagement and your continue and continuing to do so. Um, Oh, who am I? Hi. <laughs> I see I don't know everybody in Taos, contrary to what some of y'all might believe. Um, my name is Contessa Trujillo. Um, I am a community member of Taos. This is my ancestral land. We have been here for centuries. And um, Taos is... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, Taos is, Taos is home. It's always been home. I've had the great opportunity and privilege to travel and to see other places and to, at the end of the day, to call this this space and this place and this community home. So, um, sorry, I'm getting touched, but I, I'm, I'm really like, I, I care. I care deeply about this community and about um, representation and about um, us being able to have agency and voice in the decisions that are being made and how they affect us. So, so thank you all for being here. Um, I guess I, I don't know that I finished that question, but um, I work with the, I'm, I'm contracting through, um, the town hired me to do community engagement um, alongside the CREST team, the Center for Responsible Travel and GW, um, George Washington University, who are helping us and guiding us in creating a plan that is reflective of everybody and really is taking all of the concerns into account. So, big round of applause there. Oh, there we go. Jessica, you're next. Um, so this is Jessica Stern. She's going to be talking a little bit. Um, this is, she is the new Economic Development Director for the Taos County. Hi, everyone. It is so wonderful to be here. Um, again, I'm Jessica Stern. I'm the fairly new Economic Development Director with Taos County. And um, I'm thrilled to be with you all in community here tonight and um, honored to be representing Taos County. Uh, so thank you to the bosses over there for allowing me to be up here. Um, I am also truly humbled um, to be representing the steering committee for the Destination Stewardship Plan. And I would love to ask all of the steering com committee members in the room if you could just stand and be acknowledged for your hard work. Charles is 
is already standing. <laughs> Thank you all. Um, this is an incredible group of 19 individuals who have decades of local experience, um, local investment, and civic leadership in this community. Um, I also, on behalf of uh, the steering committee and the county, want to again thank the town of Taos for making this investment. Um, I want to thank Karina for getting it off the ground. Thank you, Karina. You're incredible. Um, and thank you deeply to Contessa and the Crest team for all the hard work. This is hours and hours and hours of um, beautiful labor that is happening here on behalf of this community. So, yeah. Um, a message that I, that I want to impart to you all on behalf of the steering committee and Taos County is that we want to be your partner. Um, Taos County wants to build and deepen trust with the community, you, um, and we are an organization that is willing and ready to do that. We want to listen. Please attend our commission meetings. Please come talk to us at the county. Um, I think we all feel that this is a moment in our community and a moment of potential transition. And there's fear around that. Like, could, could we lose some things that are special about Taos? But I want to I wanna say to you again, as a steering committee member and a representative of the county, that I hope we can look at this with hope and with opportunity um, to build the community that we want. Um, and this is, a, this is a process that I think we can all, we have all been working through together uh, and can continue to work together for collective action going forward to really shape and build our own future. Um, so again, I'm humbled to stand up here. I'm pretty sure that Charles volunteered me again. Um, so thanks, Charles. <laughs> but um, I'm looking forward to participating with you all. And again, please come to the county and talk to us. We, we really want to partner with anyone we can. Thanks for having me. All right. So um, I already introduced myself, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to have the team introduce themselves so you can get some voices with faces and teams. Good evening. It's great to be back. Um, my name is Ed Hall. I'm uh, the uh, Indigenous Economic Development and Tourism Executive in Residence for George Washington University, and glad to be a part of this project. Good evening, everyone. It's so lovely to be back and to see the, uh, you know, the amount of community members uh, coming and turning out uh, to participate in the, this process almost double. So it's pretty incredible. My name is Seleni Matus, and I'm the Executive Director of the George Washington University's International Institute of Tourism Studies. And so it's a great pleasure to be back. Um, reminding you all as well that Ed and I, Sue, and there's a much bigger GW team behind us um, that really worked on all the studies that we will be sharing results for that have guided this process. So they're not here, but acknowledging that it was a pretty large team of student research assistants and uh, a few professors as, as well at GWU that were behind this process. I wanna echo everybody else's uh, comments that we're blown away by this turnout. Um, this just means that you all show up for your community and. What an incredible feeling that is. Even though I'm not a part of your community, I can sense this energy um, and, and this, this decision to show up. And that's half the battle um, in so many of these processes. So I really want to congratulate all of you because uh, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, my name is Wes Espinosa. I'm the executive director of the Center for Responsible Travel, CREST. Um, and uh, like GW, we have colleagues as well working behind the scenes on this project. This is really a group effort um, to get this project together, to do all of this work, to make all of these logistics happen. Um, and so I just want to say an extra thank you to everybody on both of our teams that have been behind this project um, and, uh, and to everybody on the ground, particularly Contessa, who has done an incredible job getting stuff together. Actually, I think Contessa deserves a round of applause, yeah. if I'm being honest. Hi there, my name is Sue Muncaster and I'm coming from Teton Valley, Idaho. 
and I got involved with Selene and her crew at GW when they came to our community and did a destination stewardship plan for the Jackson Hole Travel and Tourism Board. Well, the Jackson Hole community, but it was sponsored by the Tourism Board uh, for who I was working at that time. And I serve on the city council over in Victor, Idaho, and Teton Valley is a dear community much like this that's struggling to not become Jackson Hole. So, um, so honored to be here, and I've met so many impressive, passionate people from 14 years old to up to 90, and i um, super excited for Taos. All right. And I'd also like to welcome Mayor Maestas, who will have a few words for us as well. Thank you, Contessa. I'm really blown away by the turnout here tonight. Um, I looked at our discretionary fund and I said, Contessa, here's a few extra thousand dollars. Get a lot of food. I hope there's enough people there and we're not turning a bunch of food back. Um, and it looks like um, we might be out. Uh, I'll say that's a great problem uh, to have because I, I'm very excited for all of you to be here tonight. Um, some of you might know I, I used to be a math teacher. I'm currently an economics professor at UNM. And there's a concept, a mathematical concept, and an economics concept that we call the wisdom of the masses. One way to describe this is if you get a jar of M&Ms, um, you can go around asking people, how many M&Ms do you think are in this jar? Some might say 10, some might say 1,000, but the more people you ask, the statistical average gets closer and closer to the actual number of M&Ms that are in the jar. Um, very surprising. Um, and you can do this, um, and it's repeatable, it's multiple times. Uh, kids, if you're looking for a science project, this could be a fun one. Um, the reason why I bring it up is because we're trying to find this right balance um, between resident concerns, businesses who rely on tourism for um, revenue and income, um, preserving our culture, protecting who we are, um, protecting our acequias, and we have all of these competing balances and if we get a very small sample size, um, we might not get that balance right. But seeing all of you here tonight gets me very hopeful that we're gonna get this right. And this is not gonna be a plan on the shelf. Um, we're using this to guide tourism for the next 10 to 15 years. So this is why your participation tonight is so incredibly important um, because we need you, we need your voices, and we're gonna to listen to you. Um, so this is not a decision that I'm going to make. Um, it's not a decision that the council is going to make. It's a decision that you are going to make. And we're going to move forward on the plan that gets developed. And I can tell you just from meeting with the Crest team uh, this morning, I'm very excited and hopeful um, from some of the initial results that they're going to share tonight. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over so you can hear um, what they've been doing. All right, thank you. Right. So again, acknowledging our steering committee members, um, many of you are here. If you're not already standing, please do stand. I would love for the community to acknowledge our familiar faces and the people who are also extensions of myself and this team within this community to, to speak to and address things um, and are really helping to also make sure that this turnout is here. A lot of this is also a result of our steering committee members. Um, we have Cisco Guevara, David Mapes, Mona Nakasham, Rose Reza, you're supposed to be standing. <laughs> Chris Madrid, Brad Higdon, Shamai Rodriguez. Yes, yes, please applaud. These, these people are amazing. Um, Larry Sheck, Chelsea Reedy, Bob Romero, Jessica Stern, Ruben Hernandez, Pedro Sanchez, Charles Whitson, who's already standing. Ilona Spruce, Luis Reyes, Corilia Ortega, Councilwoman Ortega. Um, Peter Rich, Tammy Torres, Amy Sims, and Anita Bringus. Yeah. All right, so why are we all here? So essentially, the way that in common, so we're creating a destination stewardship plan, which is a mouthful, and all of those words are strong and have deep meaning. And essentially, what I like to tell people when I'm explaining this to them 
is that this is a plan to change the way that we've been marketing the town and the way that we've been um, looking at and trying to get tourism to, to our, or looking at tourism for our town um, to a plan that is really of, by, and for the community at large. Um, we've really been pouring over all of the ways in which that we can really scratch the surface and access all nooks and crannies of our community and our people here in Taos. Um, total, as, as cumulatively, we've reached over 3,700 community members, and I would even venture to say more than that. Um, many of you took part in the surveys that we had. We had a resident survey, and we also had a business uh, survey. Um, we were hoping for 1,500 responses to the resident survey, and you can see by the numbers up here that we got 3,348, so even double that. Um, we had 95 of the business services completed, which is, is a great number. Um, we've had a number of one-on-one -on -one interviews, and at this juncture I know that we are well over the 33 that are listed here. Um, for the first on-site visit with the team back in mid-July, we held focus groups as we did this week as well. Um, those focus groups totaled over 60 community members um, with those four focus groups. And then we had two community town halls, um, much like the one that you are all here for today. Um, with that, I mean, I think it's also, I'd be remiss to, to acknowledge the people who aren't here behind the scenes because this team has really been pouring over not only this data, but even leading up to this, a lot of research. And I know that a lot of people are worried about this becoming another plan that gets shelves, shelved perhaps, but I want to let everybody know that here know that if you have participated in the Strong at Heart initiative, if you have participated in any of the comprehensive plans or other initiatives like this, we have also taken all of that information and data into, the, into account and is reflected and will be reflected in the destination stewardship plan. Um, all right, so with the one-on-ones and also just in conversations with focus groups and workshops, we've had an incredible opportunity to have some very intimate conversations with, with varying people. And these are some of the pieces that really stood out. Um, this first quote, I would like to see the town of Taos let go of the fear that too much tourism will hurt us. It can only hurt us if we are irresponsible about how we build it. We don't have to sell out to become a more prosperous town. And I think this plan really has a lot of potential to do that. And this tells us also, and, and your responses have told us also, that there is hope. And we are also at a really beautiful juncture to where we still have the opportunity to steer this very big ship in a direction that we choose and that benefits us. And that leads also into that bottom quote there, we can make something beautiful for us that others can enjoy. And we're really looking at that plan, serving the community, how it serves the community, in order for us to have a beautiful place that we're proud of and happy to be part of and a community that is, is prosperous and we're all kind of leading in that direction together. And from that place, we can then open up as good hosts and share that with others and visitors and others who, who find Taos enchanting and beautiful as well. Um, the middle quote is hard. I always save it for last. Um, one of our youth and the youth group that we had, a youth focus group that we had earlier this week, um, one of the teens said, I want to love Taos. And so sitting with that, I think everybody in the room got a bit choked up because like, what does that mean and what does that say about where we are currently? Um, they further elaborated saying, it's a wonderful place to grow up as a kid when you're kind of by default in these spaces or doing these things, but as you grow into um, becoming a young adult and are thinking more about what you can do with your life and the opportunities that exist and the agency that you have, um, they were feeling really grim about that. And so one of the big points that has come out of this and one of the reasons that we had the youth group is to really also take those voices into account because we're here creating this plan and developing this plan, but they're the ones that are gonna inherit it and they're the ones that are gonna have to steward it forward. And so it's vital that we include them in these conversations and, and are asking what they want and what they need in order to make sure that everybody is, is being served by these, um, this initiative. Um, yeah, so with that, um, again, I just wanna emphasize that there is hope and and I think as indicated by how many of you are all here in the room and it looks like we may have even run out of chairs. <laughs> 
um, that we're all in this together. Yeah, there's some in the front and sprinkled throughout if people do want to take a seat. Oh, we don't, we, well, we have, we have a handful left. Um, anyhow, again, I just want to thank everybody for being here and I want to encourage everybody to remain active and engaged as this plan further develops. Um, we're excited to share all of the findings that we have um, come up with and to brainstorm with you and to continue to further dive into all of those pieces as we move forward with creating this plan. And like Mayor Maestra said too, is that this is the plan of the community, for the community, by the community. And so by utilizing your voice and creating this plan, we can then hold accountability to these initiatives that we are identifying being followed through um, in whatever way that looks and means for our future. So thank you.